Hey what's up you guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be kind of something different that I've never really done. With my channel I kind of would like to start doing a little bit more of like personal videos with you guys and I really want to get into vlogs so you guys can kind of like really see the kind of person that I am. I really also want to do videos like this and this is kind of like my first like rant type of video because in my life and in like my city um, a lot of stuff has just been going on the past few days and even just stuff like all around the world that's you know like just made me think a lot so to me looking at like with everything that's been going on like the hurricanes and the wildfires in California and stuff that I've seen go on around the world like in different cities and especially something that happened today where I live which I'll get to that in a little bit I feel like us as people as individuals we get caught up in the hype we get caught up in bullshit we get caught up in things that don't really matter we worry about shit that doesn't matter at the end of the day when you when you grow old all the shit that you're worrying about right now at 20 21 22 will not matter like when you're in your 80s and rolling in your wheelchair or whatever the shit that you're worrying about right now in this moment will not matter i also feel like today's society has kind of warped people's brains a little bit to feel good about yourself nowadays it is not judged on like the way your friends see you the way your family sees you the way you see yourself self like love is not even like looked at as like within yourself anymore it's about how many followers you got on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, whatever. It's about how many likes you get on a picture. And that, to me, is just bullshit. Now, anything that I'm saying in this video about people in general, about how we act as like a society, I'm at fault for it too. Like, I'm not here to say that I'm not wrong. I'm definitely wrong for certain things. Because I fall into the hype, you know? I worry about shit that doesn't matter. I worry about, okay, so I posted this selfie. Why did this selfie get 80 likes and this one only got like 30? That shit doesn't matter. When it comes to life, what matters is your friends, your family, and most importantly, yourself. So therefore, like, what really comes down to it is instead of focusing on how many likes you're getting on a picture, focus on your friends. Focus on their lives. Make sure that they're okay. Take a second to talk to your family make sure that they're doing okay because you never know because yes they're your family but they got different lives too than what you have they're going through stuff that you might not even know anything about now i kind of want to get into stuff that's kind of made me start thinking this way to where maybe this could kind of help you guys think a little bit yourselves the very first thing um is you guys obviously know about hurricane irma and hurricane harvey and jose and all the hurricanes that have just been going on well, my best friend, Jared, who we've done the best friend tag together, and we did another video together. If you guys want to go check that out, you can, so you know who I'm talking about. But my best friend, Jared, he's in the National Guard for where we live, and he Friday night, he told me that his uh, unit got activated to go to Florida to help out with like the damages and helping people and stuff like that, which whenever they get activated... That doesn't mean that they're going, but they got to prepare to go. Saturday, he had drill, which is something that they do like once a month or something like that. And so then I get a text from him saying that he's not coming back from drill, that he's going to Florida. And like, my heart kind of like stood still for a second because I'm sitting here thinking like, I just saw this kid like less than 10 hours ago and now I might not see him for three months and he's going to where devastation just happened i understand that he's going to help people and he likes to help people so i'm glad that he's getting to go do something that he enjoys and that's going to make him feel good to help these people that need help but i just worry that like something could happen to him and like hurricane jose is like right behind so i don't know if he's going to be down there during that and that kind of scares me but I know he'll be fine. But it just kind of made me think that like something that is so minute to me that I'm worrying about. But my best friend's going to help people that don't have homes anymore. Who don't have anything anymore. Like these people probably lost everything. And I'm sitting over here worried about stupid shit. 
The second thing that kind of made me start thinking about all this kind of stuff was um, this girl in Chicago. I don't remember. I know her. I, I can't pronounce her name, so I'm not going to try to butcher it. But I might leave like um, a link to the story if I can find it down below. But basically, this girl in Chicago was at a hotel at like a kickback, um, hanging out with her friends. And um, her friend basically set her up to get raped and thrown into a freezer and left to die. And her friend did all this for $200. That was very heartbreaking to me because I've been to parties, I've been to kickbacks and everything where I don't know everybody. I might know like a few people. And you know, you get like some like alcohol in your system or whatever, you start having fun and you don't know anybody in this room's intentions. The people that you don't know, you don't know their intentions with you. You don't know their intentions with like the person sitting beside you. You have no idea. So it just kind of makes you like think like, wow, like that could have been anybody, like not just this girl, like it could have been anybody that that happened to. And it's really devastating that her, fr like somebody that she thought was her friend set her up for $200 to be, to be raped and murdered. And that's really scary. And I hope that this girl gets justice for what had happened to her. I hope the people that did this to her get sentenced to life. Like they get the max because they're pieces of fucking shit. The last thing that kind of made me start thinking about all of this was um, a kid that went to the school, like our rival school, which is only literally like five minutes away. And I knew of him. And then a year ago, I met him in person at a party and we like hung out and everything. And he was really cool and he was really nice. Um, I found out today that he was murdered uh, in a town that's probably about like 15 20 minutes from me and I have friends that are friends with him so that's kind of why like it made me think about some stuff and I and I've met this kid like I've hung out with him it's not like he's like a complete stranger but we also aren't the best of friends but it's still really devastating that like somebody that I know was murdered and like my friends like one of my friends friend is like now gone and it's really kind of crazy like you wake up one day and you think that all right today I'm gonna go do this 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 and this and then it can all be stopped by some idiot it can all just be stopped so fast and I feel like we as people again we take life for granted we worry about dumb shit when there's real life situations like everything that I've just named going on around us and we like numb it out or we don't just don't pay attention I don't know what it is we but we need to wake up we need to realize that Instagram likes and how many views we get on a YouTube video or you know who's dating who and who's pregnant and who said this about me all that shit is just is just so irrelevant guys like when I tell you I'm just like all this kind of stuff just made me like really like kind of like wake up like damn we really worry about dumb shit like we worry about who this person's fucking who this person's dating why did this person do this so guys that was basically like my little rant i just feel like us being young like if you're young and you're watching like if you're my age and you're 20 you're even 21 you're around my age 19 18 whatever and you're watching this take a second to think about people that you know and stuff that they've gone through or just think about stuff that you've read on twitter or seen in the news about stuff that's been going on around the world and just think about your life and the stuff that you worry about and think like does that stuff really matter at the end of the day the biggest thing that i want you guys to take away from this video is i've obviously said this so much is think about what really matters in this life secondly be careful who you surround yourself with because there's snakes in every crowd and third of all do not take life for granted. You never know when it's going to be taken away from you. So live your life to the fullest. Tell everybody that you care about, that you love them. I make it a point to do that. I tell my family I love them. I tell my friends I love them. I'll text my friends like, have a good day, love you. Because I could be at work and they could just be on their way to school or work or on their way to anywhere and something bad could happen to them. So you just never know. So... Make sure you tell the people that are most important to you that you love them. Well, thank you guys for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on all of my social media, especially my Snapchat, because that's where I'm the most active. And until the next video, guys, deuces.